Well, the day we've all been waiting for is here. The 2025 Vibe Coding Game Jam has been brought to a close and the winners of the competition announced. So this whole thing kind of got started by Andre Karpathy, who coined the term Vibe Coding. Vibe Coding just kind of meant letting AI do most of the coding and just kind of seeing what emerges. Now, of course, this got picked up by the social media nets and became a whole thing. Some people were for it, some people were very much against it, but this person, Peter Levels, decides to kind of make it a little bit more mainstream, I guess. So he created this Fly Peter game, which you might have tried out, which has tons of people playing it right now. And how do I fly? I forgot the keys. I haven't tried it in a while, but it's mostly created by various AI coding tools. It's really hard to speak when the propeller noises in your headphones anyways. So after creating that Fly Peter game and it kind of becoming a viral hit, making as much as 50,000 a month in various ad placements, Peter Levels creates the 2025 Vibe Coding Game Jam. It quickly gains traction. A lot of sponsors jump on board to kind of sponsor it and make sure that there's some prize money. Looks like we have 10,000 plus game submissions. The first prize will be $10,000, second prize $5,000, and third prize $2,500. And he's got quite a lineup of judges that are going to be judging this thing. We'll get back to all of them in just a second here, but he's got some big names on board. So if you're not familiar with it, here were kind of the original rules of this game and jam. They've changed a little bit over time, but anyone can enter with their game. At least 80% of the code has to be written by AI. So you can use Claude, Gemini, OpenAI, etc. What's interesting is during this time, a lot of new, very exciting, very good models have emerged. So just during the course of this competition, you've actually had kind of some big steps forward in terms of AI coding ability. The game has to be accessible on the web without any login or sign up and free to play. Preferably has its own domain or subdomain. Has to be a multiplayer by default. I believe this was at some point taken out because some random guy on the internet says, hey, multiplayer is probably a bad idea. That random guy on the internet is John Carmack. Yeah, the guy behind Doom, id software commander keen etc now working on agi but yeah so that i believe was kicked and we can use any engine but usually 3js is recommended there's some other rules and this was changed a little bit over time at some point it also got extended so more people could join but without further ado let's check out the winners i'm kind of curious to see what people have created let's start with number three because why not i feel like that makes it more exciting and I think you have to enter these through the, what do they call it? The Vibe Coding Portal, Vibeverse Portal. So it's like a whole thing, but let's enter the Vibeverse. All right, we are now in the Vibeverse. Please stand by. This is actually kind of cool. I, I think am a, a chicken, I, I believe. Yes, I can confirm that I am a chicken. Let's continue what to do here. Uh, let's see. This is your own unique farm. Your progress can be saved and loaded with your game code in the menu. What to do here? Collect a golden egg from one of the barns. Hatch a baby chick. Feed the baby chick at the nursery. Check in your chicken at the egg ranch and start farming eggs. Collect the trophies on top of the skyscraper in the city. Press E to interact with the objects of the game. All right, and it's got a little bit more about the developer. So if I understand correctly, this takes me to a random game. So this is a random game in the vibe verse. And here we make chicken eggs and do various jumping puzzles. That is pretty cool. I gotta say, this is well made, very well made. Uh, fascinating, is there fall damage? I hope not. Can chickens fly? Let's see, okay, we survived it. Let's continue. The inverted mouse is really throwing me for a loop here. I'm sure there's a way to change it. We also have a, a vibe metaverse portal where we can explore the world as Zuck. Why? So Vibe Metaverse has crashed the game and apparently also made me transparent. Okay, I'm just gonna click on the thing. Vector Tango, we'll come back to the Vibe verse in a second. I gotta say, this is looking absolutely phenomenal. At least this is the kind of the intro screen. We need a three letter call sign. What should that be? Oh, I know, Wes. Let's try that. Start game, let's see. So again, this is the third prize, sort of the bronze prize, and we're supposed to be doing something. Is this a um, air traffic controller sort of thing? They put me in charge of this. That's that's not a good idea as we're about to find out in just a second. I'm supposed to guide these things to land. 
probably not that. Why don't you land here? Oh, I see. This is actually pretty cool. So basically, you're drawing the landing path for them onto the thing. That is cool. That is very, very cool. And I'm kind of impressed so far by everything they've done here. So I drew the trajectory for it to land. And here comes another plane. And I can draw it like this and have it land. So I'm not fully getting all the controls, I guess. So let me see if there's something that I'm missing. How do I make them land? Or I should probably have them come from much, much further away, I guess, is the way of doing it. Let's see. So here comes the second plane. Let's have it go like this and start heading for the landing. Uh, let's see. There's this expression that goes RTFM. What is RTFM? It's read the manual, right? So maybe that's probably a good idea <laughs> to start with. Okay, so what I was missing is you use the A and Z keys to change the altitude. Okay, so it doesn't automatically change the altitude as it's approaching the landing strip. You have to use A and Z. Let's try that one more time. But I gotta say, this is looking really, really cool. It's very, very impressive. So let's uh, start scanning for the first plane. We have one coming over here. So why don't we take you through here like that? And we're gonna start, can we start decreasing our altitude a little bit? Yeah, there we go. We're approaching the runway and we're gonna start, whoops. We can't crash into the mountains. That's not good. Let's try that again. And we're gonna start dropping our altitude down into the landing. All right, I might have nailed it. Nope, I'm seeing some red parts. That probably means that it's not gonna work well. Let's try that again. And nope, this is harder than it looks, but I gotta say it's a very well made game. They got a lot of things. I feel like they got a lot of things right. So I think I might have landed my first plane. Let me see if I can land yet another one. And oops. Okay, this is why I said I should not be in charge of this. But the game is phenomenal. Let's take a look at the uh, leaderboard. I think if you master this game quickly, you have a chance to be at the top. Uh, because, you know, I think this means that you've landed one plane. I'm going to practice a little bit and see if I can get a higher score. Don't be surprised if you see my name on there. All right, but let's try the second one, Vibeware. All right, here we're playing on an iPhone. It looks like you are a bot. You must learn to use the web. Oh, great. Let's click start, take photo. Let's see, photo success, a great win. Training data, all right. Every book era ever, ever. I'm feeling lucky. So this is a quick kind of a clicker game and now we're learning to um, close four apps. Okay, wow, this is going really, really fast. Press, press the heart button. Where's the heart button? This is the heart button. Nope, I lose. Tetris, oh no. Uh, let's go right. This is very uh, well done because you're just like sort of thrown upvote the comment. Here's the upvote, I win. And you're supposed to very quickly figure out the controls. Warning, warns, war, Wario, I think it was. Unlock the phone, okay, got that one. And how to win micro games so let's do this search complete very cool all right so that was uh, game number two and finally we have the great taxi assignment we've got music we've got sound effects we've got everything i'm going to turn off the music for now but just so we can check out the game but keep that in mind that it does have music and uh, sound effects all right let's check it out this is looking great um this is actually reminding me of of some game that used to exist that's like that Th this is so far great so are you getting in getting in getting out what's going on get in all right passenger picked up and we're supposed to deliver them can we take two passengers at a time yes no coming in no i like how the screen rocks kind of back and forth as you're driving around this is looking pretty cool it's very impressive that we're able to create something like this mostly with ai tools so let's see parked and i was able to deliver it on time are you getting in let's go yeah these are Definitely fun. They're very impressive. Now, obviously, a lot of these games are kind of small, silly. They're not, you know, obviously triple eight games. But the fact that you're able to create something like this, 80% of it or more AI coded is kind of impressive. And of course, as these models get better and better, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what we're able to do with this. Uh, somebody created a anthropic 
MCP for using Blender to create 3D rooms and environments and models and stuff like that. So that's definitely going to be um, an interesting thing to see if we're able to create something like this with 3D models, etc. That's definitely going to be an exciting thing to check out. All right, but I, this this game feels good and looks looks pretty good. I gotta say, um, I can see how this could be kind of fun to play, and yeah, I could see why this is number one. All right, like I said, they got some pretty big names out here. So Andre Karpathy, so he's ex Tesla, ex OpenAI, and he kind of coined the term of vibe coding. Next we have uh, Ricardo Cabello, Mr. Doob, open source innovator, making 3D graphics accessible. Creator of 3JS, that's really interesting because a lot of these games are made with 3.js most likely. Next we have S13K, Mysterious Force in Creative Tech and Code. He's a digital enigma crafting cutting edge projects in the shadows. Then we have Tim Sorit, or maybe Soray, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. Visionary game designer blending art, tech and storytelling. A game should be felt, not just played. He is the creator of The Last Night, and we have Peter Levels, a self-made entrepreneur shaping the future of remote work. Build fast, ship often, stay indie. Founder of nomads.com and tons of apps, a lot of which are very, very successful. So if you're wondering where they got their little portraits, animated portraits, uh, this is Wan Studio, I think it's called. They have that logo in the bottom right, so I'm assuming that's how they made it. And of course, we have a thousand plus other submissions that I've played some of them while they were being submitted. A lot of them are very, very good. All right, I am back in the Vibe Metaverse. So here's kind of what that's looking like. So we have a Vibe Sailing, which I've tried this game. Really good, very chill kind of uh, sailing vibe. Uh, it's pretty interesting because you got to use the sort of the angle of the, what do you call it, the sails and the wind, etc., to navigate yourself through the various um, checkpoints. It's really good. Jet Ski was a fun one. Very, very fast paced. We have Fly Peter, which we've showcased here. I think this was kind of not, you know, kind of a, a inspired by Fly Peter. And Tidefall. So this is a Tidefall and uh, it's looking pretty good. The how fast the day and night cycle changes here is kind of throwing me off a little bit. But uh, I'm not sure if that's an enemy or a friendly, but I will try to avoid it. Never, whatever the case may be. Okay, so we're getting shot at and we're able to return fire with the R, R keys, R and Q. And uh, oops, that's some sort of a Kraken emerging out of depths. But I mean, this is looking pretty good. I'm literally doing this within like an hour or two after they've posted this. So I'm sure a lot of the crashing, all the stuff that you're going to be seeing is just me being there at the wrong time. So depending on when you try it out, I'm sure it might be uh, better. So I think I'll stop it right here just because it seems like everything that I'm trying is basically crashing. But from what I've been able to try and get into, it looks really, really good. So definitely check it out. I'm going to try to get into some of the other games and see kind of uh, what also is good. Because a lot of them were really good, kind of uh, addicting and kind of fun to play. Most of them are pretty simple, but they're not bad. So it's very impressive that you're able to create this, something like this with, you know, 80% AI coded. Not necessarily this game that I'm talking about, but all the other stuff that we've seen. Let me see if I can get there one more time. Uh, it's been it's been either cr crashing or just not registering. He literally just announced it not that long ago. So probably this is getting hit with tons of traffic. And uh, today might be the worst day to uh, to try it out. But check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, maybe I'll post another video kind of exploring some of these games a little bit more in depth. If you've submitted a game and want me to feature it, let me know in the comments. Or if there's a game you like that you want me to kind of feature on here, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to maybe feature it in my next video about this thing. All right. See you soon.